Okay, for the homework, make sure you're doing these problems the certain amount that I put on the shared document for you. Please do these at least once because we're going to be doing a lot of these same exact problems tomorrow to help out the class. So number one, start at negative 3 for x, 3 for y. So that means left 3, up 3 for x. That is the point negative 3, 3. Graph y equals 1 half x plus 2. That is a slope of over 2, up 1, a y-intercept of positive 2. So 2 on the y-axis, over 2, up 1, run of 2, rise of 1, be able to stair-step the opposite direction. That is the line y equals 1 half x plus 2. Now the negative reciprocal to that 1 half slope is flipping it and making it opposite. So that is negative 2 over 1. So I need to approach that line going over a box and down 2 to get that reflected point. So from here, right 1, down 2. Right 1, down 2. That is the answer. That is the point of reflection or the reflected point. Number 2, start at negative 2 for x, 2 for y. The line to graph has a y-intercept of 3. It has a slope of negative 2 made into a fraction. Is over 1, down 2. Over 1, down 2. Over 1, down 2. Be able to stair-step the opposite direction. Draw your line through them. That is the line y equals negative 2x plus 3. Now if I find the reciprocal of that, that is positive one half, not only opposite, but the reciprocal. So from there, from that point I'm reflecting over two, up one, over two, up one, and that gives me the new image point that would be reflected over that line at a 90 degree angle. You could see that. All right, number three. Three has you reflect one zero. One zero is right here. One for x, zero for y. Don't be mistaken. That's zero one. Nope. One zero. Negative one half x minus two. So negative two over two down one. That is that slope negative one half there. So that is over two down one. Be able to stair step both directions. Draw your line through. take the negative reciprocal of that slope which is positive 2 over 1. For this if I stair step the normal direction I will be going away from the line so you need to be able to stair step both directions across that line. So there is my reflected point. That's the image I'm sorry the pre-image and that A1 is the image. I had to reflect backwards. Sometimes you gotta stair step backwards like that. Number four this equation is not solved for y, so to solve this for y, add x to both sides. Gives me y equals x plus 2. The point 3, 3 is 3 for x, 3 for y. The graph y equals x plus 2 is a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of 1, which is 1 over 1. So from that point 3, 3, I'm sorry, from the y-intercept 2, I'm going to go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. That is the line y equals x plus 2. Now the negative reciprocal to 1 over 1 is negative 1 over 1. So that means from that reflected point, go over 1, down 1. And again, I am going away from the line, so I need to stair step backwards to get that true reflected point, which is right there. All right, next problem, number three. Third problem, it says reflect. This line, again, not solve for y. So in one step, add 2x to both sides. That gives me the line. I'm going to move it over here. I'm sorry. 2x plus 4. That is the new line after I solve for y by adding 2x to both sides. So positive 4 is my y-intercept. 2 over 1 is my slope. So over 1, up 2, 
over one, up two. Be able to stair step backwards. Draw that line. The point one one is right here. The negative reciprocal to two over one is negative one over two, which means from that reflected point, every time I go over two, I go down one. But again, going away from the line, stair step backwards to reflect over that line. So that would be right there. All right, number six. This is not solved for y. So I need to do two steps to solve this for y. I'm going to add x to both sides. Bring down that 3y. Do not add x and 9. Divide by 3. Gives me y equals 1 third x plus 3. So 3 is my y-intercept. Over 3, up 1. Over 3, up 1. Stair step backwards. That is my line. The point I'm reflecting is 2, 7 which is right here. So I need to approach that line with a negative reciprocal to one third, which is negative three over one, which means from that point, every time I go over one, down three, over one, down three to get that true image. That would be the image. Up here would be the pre-image. All right, backside. These, again, I give you the two points. You need to come up with the slope of the line through there so I could get a perpendicular line right through the middle. So if I find that middle point between those, I could use that to get my slope. It looks like a line going through those points would be a run of two and a rise of one. Run of two, a rise of one. A line going through those two points would have a slope of one half if I was to draw a line through those points. I need the negative reciprocal to that. So I take that one half, flip it, and make it negative. And now from that midpoint, important that you go from the midpoint, I'm going to go over a box, down two. So from that midpoint, over one, down two, over one, down two. Be able to stair step all the way back to where it crosses that y axis because I need the y intercept and the slope to write that line. And sorry, that line did not turn out so good. But my line is y equals negative 2x from that slope I used plus way up here on the y-axis, positive 9. That is the equation of that line through those two points. So they reflect over it at a 90-degree angle. All right, next problem, number 8. Again, find that midway point. Look and pretend there's a line going through there because if I had a line going through those points, it looks like every time I go over one, I go down two, over one, down two, over one, down two. Every time I go over one, that's a run of one. Every time I go down two, that's a rise of negative two. That is not the slope, one over negative two. Remember, one is your horizontal component. That is your run. Two, vertical component. That is your rise. So a slope through those points has a slope of negative 2 over 1. The negative reciprocal of that is positive 1 half. So back to that middle point. Every time I go right 2, I go up 1, right 2, up 1, stair step, backwards. So you could see where it crosses the y-axis. And now that line that I've drawn, write the equation of it. It's going to have that slope I used not the original slope of the line through the two points and through the y-intercept of positive one that gives me an equation of y equals one half x plus one all right number nine again find that midway point it's important pretend there's a line going through there what is the slope of that line i look at it, it looks like every time i go over three i go up a box over three up a box over three up a box. That is a run of one. I'm sorry, a run of three and a rise of one. A slope of a line through those two points would have a slope of one third. The negative reciprocal is negative three over one, which means from that midway point, if I follow that pattern, 
I'll get that line and that will give me the y-intercept and combine that with the slope to get my line. So I'm going to go over 1, down 3, over 1, down 3, stair step, backwards this direction. And I can see my y-intercept is right up up there on top. Draw my line a little bit better this time, hopefully. Whoops, did not quite do it. That's why it happens when you use a pen. So this line is y equals negative 3x, this slope, not the original, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is where a good line would have crossed the y-axis right there. All right, number 10. These two, again, midway point right here. This slope, over 2, up 1, over 2, up 1. Every time I go over 2, I go up 1. That is a slope of 1 half. I need the negative reciprocal to that. So that would be negative 2 over 1. Go back to this line right here, or that midway point. Every time you go over a box, go down 2 over a box, down 2. Stair step both ways. Draw your line through. And you can see this is my slope. Not the original one. That's the slope of these lines right through. through. I want the slope of this line. This is y equals negative 2x plus that y-intercept, 4. All right, number 11. Again, find that midway point. That midway point is right here. That's a little trickier for this one. If I drew a line through those, over 1, down 3, over 1, down 3. Every time I go over 1 for my run, down 3 for my rise. So that slope is negative 3 over 1. The negative reciprocal to that would be to flip that and make it the opposite, which is 1 over 3. So back to this midway point. Over 3, up 1, over 3, up up one stair step the opposite direction you could see this crosses the y-axis not at an exact grid point looks like about half but that's okay so I'm gonna write this equation as y equals one-third x plus about two and a half so I'll write that as a fraction I could have wrote it as 2.5 but I'm just gonna write it as a fraction right there alright last one the midway point right here that slope, over 3, down 1, over 3, down 1. Every time I'm going over 3 for my run, I'm going down 1 for my rise. If I put that together, that is a slope of negative 1 third. If I do the negative reciprocal that, 3 over 1. Back to that midpoint, over 1, up 3. Be able to stair step both directions. Where that line crosses the y-axis, that is your y-intercept. And then I have the slope. Don't use the original slope. That was the slope of the line through these two points. Use the slope of this line. So that gives me y equals 3x minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 5. All right, so depending on how many problems you need to do, do these in your composition notebook. If you're not going to do it all, please at least do them once so you'll have these to look at tomorrow. Good luck.